Ina, I'm a mathematician at Columbia University, and I want to show you the proof of the Pythagorean theorem. So what does it say? It says that if you have a right triangle, which means a triangle where one of the angles is 90 degrees, a right angle just like the angle of this green board, well, then if one of the short sides has length A inches and the other short side has length B inches, and if the third side, the long one, has length C inches, then the Pythagorean theorem says it says that A square plus B square equals C square. Okay, so it's a thing that everyone has to learn at some point in school, but you never know exactly why it's true. Now we want to draw a picture to get convinced why it is so. All right, well, why don't we start by drawing a square of side C. And on every side of the square, we can draw one of these triangles. Side A and side B. notice is we know that if we have a triangle, the three angles add up to 180 degrees. So this one plus this one plus the 90 degree angle add up to 180 degrees. Well, so let's look here. We have one of these angles number one, we have a 90 degree angle, and we have another angle here between B and C, angle number two. So that means they add up to 180 degrees. And same thing here, same thing here, and same thing here. So actually, if we build up these four triangles on each side of the square, we get another bigger square. Because this is a straight line, this is a straight line, this and this are straight lines. The side has length A plus B, and it has right angles. All right, well, what is the area of a square? The area of this big square is the sine A plus B times itself. All right, on the other hand, we can break it into pieces. We have the small square, which has area C times C. And we have these four triangles. So we have to add four times the area of each of these triangles. Well, what is the area of each of these triangles? There is one, with size A and B, and we can flip it over and glue it to itself once again. So the area of the big rectangle we get is A times B, the product of the two dimensions. The two triangles are the same, so if we want to find the area of just one of them, we have to divide by 2. Okay, so we're adding four of these things here. So I get c squared plus 4 times ab over 2. And we should put an equal sign here. On the one hand, we can find the area right away because it's a square with side a plus b. On the other hand, we can break it into the inside square with area c squared and the four triangles, each with area A times B over 2. Great. So what do we do now? Well, we just have to multiply. We have A times A, which is A squared, plus A times B, plus B times A, which is just 2AB, plus B times B, which is B squared. That equals C squared plus 4AB over 2 is just 2AB. Now we have 2AB on the one side and we have 2AB on the other side, so we can cancel them. And what we're left with is that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That's the Pythagorean theorem.